Brother Eric was asking me, he said, uh, it's quite trippy to know that strangers walking by you on the streets could be angels. So have you read the book of Hebrews that strangers could be angels? Meaning when you're walking on the streets and the person you are seeing on the streets could be angels? That is quite scary, isn't it? And then I said, even if they are angels and they're walking on the street and you see them, if they never talk to you, whether they are an angel or not, that doesn't mean anything. Even if the stranger that is walking on the street could be angels, as recorded in the book of Hebrews, if the person never talked to you, whether he's an angel or not, that doesn't mean anything to you. I want to tell you, there are two kinds of angels. There are two kinds of angels. The first kind of angel is that they serve God and let men know all their deeds. The second kind of angel is that they serve God and the men on earth did not see their deeds. The first kind of angel that do the deeds and many people see is uh, much like Moses because the deeds everybody saw. The second kind of angel that served God but people did not see is much like the old widow that prophesied Jesus is God. You know, in the Gospel of Luke, there's an old woman, 84 years old, that carried Jesus and say, you are God, the Messiah. That is like the second kind of angel. Serve God, but men did not really see the deeds. But both have equal rewards in heaven. Because whether mankind see your deeds or not, the main thing is your relationship with God. Tell your neighbor, say, I will focus on my relationship with God. Is by reading the Bible and pray to God oftenly. Then is what determines your reward in heaven. So which kind of angel do you want to be? The type 1 or the type 2 angel? You want to be the first kind of angel that everybody see or the second kind of angel that uh, people did not really see? I, I see somebody putting 2, I see somebody putting 1. If you ask Prophet John, he will be both of them. <laughs> because both angels are from God. God is both seen and unseen. So I want to be both. Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14, verse 12, If you believe in me, you will do greater works than me. Okay, just this verse, it should tell you what you ought to do on earth already. Not that you know that you can perform more miracles than Jesus, that is on the surface value. Remember what I said, interpret the Bible deeper. When the people of the world, they read this verse, they interpret it as, it's time to do more miracles than Jesus. But if you interpret it deeper, it means that even if you do more miracles, your reward does not mean that you are greater. Because you can never be greater than Jesus in heaven. Yet the works that you do on earth could be greater than Jesus. This is why John the Baptist did not perform much miracles, but he and Elijah have the same reward in heaven. This is why many miracles that Prophet John do, even if mankind never see the miracles he do, he, he don't mind. So sometimes where there are mighty miracles that, that uh, the Holy Spirit has enabled me to perform and mankind never see, I don't mind. Because what matters yeah. is the angels in heaven see. Tell your neighbor, even if I do a miracle and mankind did not see, what matters is the angels see. If Christians have power over nature, why can't we just command the rain to fall now? And then we command it to stop. Then we play like a little boy. Start raining, stop raining, start raining, stop raining. Why this cannot happen? It says the Lord God took you and put you in the Garden of Eden to tend it. Do you understand it now? Why you cannot just command and stop as you wish, just by this verse? Because the Lord God put you on earth to tend it and not to have control over it. You are to tend the Garden of Eden and not to play or control it, but to tend it. For information, today I saw a four-faced cherubim much like what the cherubim was described in the book of Ezekiel. 
a four-faced creature and the lion came and talked to me. You know? So this four-faced beast in heaven flew to me and the lion faced me and talked to me. So just as the seven thunders spoke in the book of Revelation, but Prophet John is not permitted to tell, so it's the same thing. Because there are secrets in heaven that God only wants to reveal it to you. I'm telling this so that you can be curious and seek God the more, so that you know He is real. Revelation chapter 2 says that you will receive a new white stone with a new name on it. Two years ago, my name on the white stone that I received was Prophet John. Six months ago, the white stone name that was given to me changed to my current name that you see on the Zoom.